All right. Um, I want to make this video. I want to talk about uh, Kenya Barris's new show, uh, Black AF. Uh, trailer dropped on uh, Netflix or YouTube, whatever. It's a Netflix show. Came, trailer came out yesterday. Um, what What is this show? Like, Kenya, how much money did Netflix give you? And this is what you came up with? All right, I'm not here to critique, though. I'm here to give my opinions and my thoughts. Um, if, you know, Kenya Barris wants to, you know, keep doing the same old thing over and over again with his art, TV shows, movies, whatever, that's his business. Okay, I ain't here to knock him. He's being successful. He's doing his thing. He's making money. So props to him, more power to him. All right. But this is what I think personally about it. I think the show looks lame. I think the show looks like it's going to suck. Um, it j just looks like, as someone on Twitter said, a mockumentary version of Blackish. He's doing the same thing where it's like the light skinned wife is not seen as black enough. She always has to prove her blackness. And we have those god awful cringe moments where, you know, black folks that aren't hip, you know what I'm saying, to the young scene, you know, they, they don't listen to rap music, try to use them hip phrases. And it, it's just, no one wants to see that. It's, it's just terrible. I mean, stuff like that happens in real life, but like, I, I would like to see a balance. You know, I said this on my Twitter yesterday. Um, you know, one of my reactions to seeing the Black AF trailer was like, yo, can Atlanta season three come out like now? <laughs> you know, um, good for good reasons that, see, that, you know, that production on that has been delayed. It got delayed because of coronavirus, I think. And then, of course, you know, like after season two, like everybody, all, the whole cast blew up. You know, Zazie Beats was in Deadpool 2 and a lot of other stuff. Brian Tyree Henry has been in a lot of stuff. Um, Lakey Stanfield has been killing it. Um, but yeah, like I, I think, you know, art is supposed to reflect reality. Um, so if these shows are presented to us as these um, pieces that are supposed to push the conversation forward, supposed to bring out more, you know, diversity, um, a more inclusive um, America, a more inclusive country, um, I think we need balance, you know what I mean? And not every black folks living in a nice house like that. And I'm going to be real, y'all. This is just what I think. If you rich and black, do you really think like, I, okay, I'm, I'm going to be real here. Okay. Some of these rich black folks don't care about us at all. All right. It's just a fact. They got the money. They had to come up and they left us behind. They, they ain't out, they ain't, they ain't caring about us. They might've used us to get their money, get on the come up, but they're all about the money. Money is king, you know? Um, was it ASAP Rocky has a line in one of his songs? He says, this year I turned into the racist. All I want to see is green faces. Maybe he was being real. Maybe he was being real. Maybe it's just like money, 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 money. Um, so yeah, so with that in mind, um, I feel like that needs to be addressed more um, in TV and movies um, because obviously I love seeing, you know, black people um, on the come up like that. Um, but let's, let's, let's be real, you know, let's address all sides. Um, but in short, the show looks, looks bad, looks bad. Uh, I feel bad for Ashita Jones cause I actually do like her. I think she's hilarious, but I'm, I'm not going to be tuning in. All right, mixed this was when because I'm, I'm blackish has his issues. Um, I guess Anthony Anderson has some uh, sexual assault cases against him. I haven't read into those, but like that's a red flag for me. And he's still on the show. He's been nominated for Emmys. Um, it's a funny show. I ain't gonna lie. It makes me laugh a lot, even though there's a lot of cringy moments. And I don't like shows that have to explain stuff to white people. It's just like. That's not real. If you if you're gonna give us a real show about black people, at the end that you know what I'm saying, like um, if there's an issue that's specific to us black folks, um, after we're done talking about the issue, we don't say, all right, let's uh, let's FaceTime um, one of our white friends and explain to them um, what this all means. You know that stuff's cheesy. That whole stuff is cheesy to me. Um, I'm not against educating white people on black issues, but at this point, it's like we're already burdened enough. It's 2020. Pick up a book. Do a Google search if you care. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's how I feel about it. Um, and I've seen a lot of tweets about this too. So it's short and it makes this, I do want to say something about makes this. I didn't watch. It. I think if with, 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 with black folks like this, like Kenya Barris, all right, I ain't trying to knock him, but if we ain't messing with this stuff, if we feel like he's not making stuff for us, let's stop watching it. Let's not support it. All right. So I'm not going to be tuning in. I'm not going to be hate watching it. I'm not going to acknowledge it. After this video, I ain't going to say nothing else about it. Um, and if you feel like shows like this should not get made, um, feel like he's just doing the same thing over and over again, trying to pander to white folks, trying to align himself with whiteness, don't watch it. That's all I got to say. Um, stay safe out there. Um, God bless.